Hokie Helpers are an essential part of the move-in experience for our students and their families, and we are so grateful to have you be a part of Move-In Week. The first thing we want you to know is that if you have been fully vaccinated, you do not need to wear a mask at your station. If you have not received your COVID vaccine, we ask that you kindly wear a facial covering during your shift. If you have been vaccinated and prefer to wear a mask, feel free to do so. Try to arrive at your tent location about 10 to 15 minutes before your shift is set to begin. Your tent location will be sent to you two to three days before move-in begins, so keep an eye on your email. Once you arrive at your tent, take a moment to meet your fellow Hokie Helpers and familiarize yourself with the area. When students arrive at your Hokie Helper tent, we'll need to ensure they receive a warm, happy, and exciting Hokie welcome. After all, that's the first and most important job our Hokie Helpers are entrusted with. Students are assigned a move-in time slot. If they ask about moving in early, politely ask them to leave and come back at the correct time. After that, make sure the students and families receive one moving cart that we will spray down and wipe with disinfectant before handing it over to the student. Be sure to get those high touch areas really well. If they need it, you can provide the student with a full campus move-in map with directions on how to get to their assigned building. However, this year we have individualized move-in instructions for each residence hall. Head to housing.vt.edu slash move-in and tap the name of the residence hall the student is moving into. We also recommend you familiarize yourself with the full campus map so you can answer any questions you may receive. Feel free to offer hand sanitizer, which will be available at your assigned tent. There will also be coolers with bottled water at your tents. Feel free to hand out water to those who need it. After their cart has been picked up, please remind the student and their family to return the moving cart to your tent as soon as they are finished. Moving carts will have a sign attached to them stating which tent the cart belongs to. Finally, wish the student and family well and send them on their way. That's it, just repeat several times throughout your shift. There may also be a few other jobs needed from our Hokie helpers. Some of our volunteers may be asked to walk around and look for move-in carts and hand trucks and return them to their designated tent station. There may also be a need to assist with directing traffic in the parking lots and helping clear out the parking lots once the move-in shift is over. Please remember the following. Wear a mask if you're not fully vaccinated. Wear comfortable shoes and clothing. Maintain a respectable distance from others. Provide a warm, exciting welcome. Arrive for your shift a few minutes early and hang around until the volunteers arrive for the shift that follows yours. Ask families to return those move-in carts to your tent as soon as they can. Be prepared to give directions around the residential side of campus. Provide information about where they can find Target, Walmart, grocery stores, restaurants, etc. and instruct people where they can park after drop-off. Parking is located behind Lane Stadium, Chicken Hill, Litton Reeves, and the Cage Lot. Please familiarize yourself with the move-in map found at HokieHelpers.com. You should not give families more than one move-in card. After you, they are our greatest asset and we need to keep as many available as possible. Give more attention to your fellow Hokie Helpers than to our students and their families. Of course, we want you to have fun, but remember who you are there to serve. Shake hands or give hugs. We're still not ready to have that type of personal contact. Make up answers to questions. That's just not cool at all, and it creates more stress and confusion. Refer them to building staff located in the residence halls, VT, PD, or other housing and residence life staff. That's it. Pretty easy, right? If you have any questions about this information, please email us at hokiehelpers at vt.edu, and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thank you again for your help in representing our Virginia Tech motto of ut prosum to our amazing students.